Hi guys, it's Greg, and I am so excited to show you how to make a blog with WordPress and start blogging in 2019 because I finally found a WordPress theme cool enough to be used in our 2019 video. Plus, this tutorial comes with a contest. To enter, all you need to do is like the video, subscribe if you subscribed already, that's no problem, you're already in on that one, and comment the answer to our mystery question which will be asked after we install this theme right here. And by the way, the creators of the theme will let us install a number of different themes if you don't like this look. Now I'm gonna show you guys where to get this super hot theme after we set up our domain name and hosting in this tutorial. We're gonna do that step first because I believe it's so important that you make that commitment to yourself and to your blogging to get your domain name and hosting out of the way. It puts you on a path to success and it opens so many doors for you. But I will tell you that I like this theme because it's free and because it just looks like other blogs. If you check out The Blonde Abroad, my favorite travel blog ever, you'll see that the styles are very similar. For example, on our blog, we have the logo at the top, social media icons, huge image with a call to action right here, Blonde Abroad, we have the logo up top, social media icons, huge image or video in this case, so maybe we'll see how to do that later, and then call to action. If you scroll down, you just see an offset image and an about section, and down here, there's an offset image and an about section. Lots of images, lots of buttons. Featured images here, along with a three-step process, and this could be anything, of course, about your blog or whatever process you want to take people through, like fitness or finance or something like that. And then going down, you see these cool drop-downs for your expertise, and then on Blonde Abroad, she has these cool drop-downs, which is places she's traveled. If you go to the Smart Passive Income blog, my favorite blog about building an income online, you see the huge image, call to action, just like our blog, huge image, call to action, as featured on section, and then scrolling down, featured images, recent posts. If you go to our blog, you'll see we have featured images, recent posts, and even though, of course, these blogs have been around for years and years and have tons of content, you'll have some of that content up and then you can add to your content, mostly with WordPress plugins and achieve other things that you want. We are gonna make the blog with the wordpress.org software. It's the same software that all the major brands use. You can click showcase and there you'll find cool sites like Obama, TechCrunch uses wordpress.org, even Facebook uses them. Celebrities like Alanis Morissette, Snoop Dogg, LL Cool J, Hussein Bolt, Chuck Yeager, Beyonce, The Tim Ferriss Show uses WordPress. Ariana Grande made her website with Drupal. That's interesting but pretty much everyone you can think of on the planet uses WordPress. So if you wanna have success, make a living blogging, get a lot of traffic from Google, then you wanna use WordPress. To actually make a WordPress blog, you need a domain name and you need hosting, and we can get both of those things from HostGator, who I consider to be the Google of web hosting. A domain name is like the address of your home or your apartment, and the web hosting is like the plot of land where your apartment or your home is built on. You want them both to be really clean and memorable looking and be located in a good neighborhood. And HostGator in the internet world is a really good neighborhood. If your heart's set on a different web host, then open the description beneath the video where I've found you discounts at several other web hosts that maybe your friend recommended to you and you just want to use. And while you're down there in the video description, make sure and click on that bit.ly link for HostGator, which will take us to our discount page today so you can get a really cheap price. See how it says $2.75 per month right here? Well, when we go to the discounter link and continue, then you're gonna get that price even lower. So you can click on that bit.ly link below, but what I'm gonna do is just enter in the link manually, which is just www.hostgator.com slash Greg. Hit enter and that'll get us the discount. So as you can see, your price went from $2.75 to $2.64 per month to install WordPress, super cool. That is my affiliate link, and this is my custom page at HostGator, as you can see with my logo up here. If you use that link and go through my page, I might earn a small commission at no cost to you for signing up. Thanks so much, but most importantly, that secures you the best possible price to install WordPress. Because I know if you're just starting out, money could be tight. 
Okay, so obviously these are the same hosting plans that were on the previous page. This is the quickest and cheapest way to install WordPress. And as of today, guys, you can get a free one-year domain registration on select hosting plans and terms. So of course, we're gonna take advantage of that new offer. All right, so let's take a look below. So we're gonna want either the hatchling or the baby plan today. Business plan is just too much for us at the moment unless you're on a huge corporate budget or something like that. The reason we like hatchling and baby is because they're dirt cheap. You get one click WordPress install so you don't need to know any coding, unmuted bandwidth and a free SSL certificate which means you get that little padlock icon in the upper left corner of your site. If you want, I can show you how to set that up. And the main difference between the Hatchling and Baby is that Hatchling lets you run one domain name, like yourwebsite.com, yourbusiness.org, whatever you want. And the Baby Plan lets you run multiple domain names. So you can power your blog, maybe another website or a different business you run, or you can start to make websites for people as a web designer. So if that sounds like you, grab a baby plan, but for us, I wanna go the cheapest route possible. That's why we're gonna do Hatchling Plan. So now we can just click Buy Now. Okay, and now I'll walk you through the HostGator order form, step one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then we can check out and move on and install your own copy of WordPress. So in step one, we're gonna have register a new domain name selected, but if you already have a domain name that you wanna use, that's fine, just click here, write in your domain name, proceed and get the hosting, and afterwards I'll show you how to connect your domain to your hosting and make it all work. So if you already own one, pop it in here, go ahead and get the hosting, and then we'll connect everything. But in our case, we wanna get that free domain. And I'm just gonna register what we're gonna to become today, which is a self-hosted WordPress blogger. And then if you hit period, it'll take you over here to the little dropdown, or you can just leave the words as is and get the .com, and then it'll bring up your price. All right, so we only wanna get one domain name today, Definitely want to stay on our budget, but you can see the different prices for the different options. Of course, the .com here is the cheapest because it's free. Thanks, HostGator, for that awesome deal. But of course, they also offer those other really cool new and popular extensions. Some tips to pick the best domain name are keep it simple and short. So I guess I violated that rule. If you can, go with two words. They can be related like TripAdvisor, Home Depot, etc. Or they can be unrelated like YouTube, Netflix, so on and so forth, and you might think of something clever. If you can't get your perfect domain name.com, then go ahead and just get your first name, last name. That's good for almost any type of branding, and if you ever become a famous person or an influencer, you really have to control where your name.com goes so someone doesn't mess with you. All right, so scrolling down, we're gonna uncheck add domain privacy too, because I generally trust people, but if you wanna do that, go ahead. It's just a little extra cost. And now we are in step two. So step two is really easy, choose a hosting plan. So we know we want Hatchling, boom. Billing cycle, we gotta do at least 12 months to get that free domain name, but we can see we get a discount through my HostGator Greg link for all of them. So it's really up to you, whatever you think is the right term period for your new blog. But as you can see, you get a little bit better value if you register more months of hosting upfront, meaning the price goes down from 548 to 448 to 358 to 264. In my case, I've had my WordPress blog for almost 10 years now, so this definitely would have been a good idea to get 36 months. But to stay on our budget, we're gonna grab 12 today. Again, up to you, let me know any questions, if you're on the fence at all about that. So now we need a username, and we can just pop in whatever you normally use online, and a four-digit security pin, that's super easy. And we can move down to billing info. So for billing info, just enter in your usual billing info like you would wherever you shop online, Amazon, eBay, Apple, wherever you do your shopping. And I'm just gonna cover this up and pop in my info so that no one can steal my credit card. You can pay with credit card, or if it's easier, you can go with PayPal. All right, and if you have a tax exemption ID, go ahead and pop that in, but most of us don't, so that's fine. And now we're on step four. All right, so we're gonna uncheck additional services and we are done here. You can always add these later on through the nice live chat feature. Really nice people at HostGator anytime. All right, and now here we are in step five. This part's really tough for most people because they have to think up a coupon code that works, but in our case, we don't. We already have the best coupon code entered, which is big bonus. It's not case sensitive, and that will get you up to 62% off 
or in our case for one year, it's gonna be 50% off. That is the best discount available at HostGator right now and we can offer it to you guys for such a huge discount because so many people sign up to WordPress through our tutorials. So they continue to keep offering us that awesome discount. So all I can really say is thanks to you, thanks to everyone who's come before you, and it is a limited time discount, so if it works, go for it. All right, so we have step six now is our final step. We're just gonna review our order details and then proceed and install your copy of WordPress. You can see we get 24 7 365 phone laptop email support for free, instant account activation for free, money back guarantee for 45 days if you're not happy for whatever reason, Domain registration of our shiningnewdomainname.com for one year is free. That is just for one year, so you will have to pay for that in the second, third, fourth years. Pretty standard, all of us pretty much pay for a domain name. You just get that nice bonus of getting it for free in the first year. Hatchling plan for 12 months, discounted at 50% off to 53.70, so that's all we pay. You don't even really need to worry about these numbers right here because this total in green is the amount due at the bottom. Super cool, I think it's really awesome that for under $5 a month, about the cost of a trip to Starbucks, you can get your own amazing WordPress website and be on the same level playing field as the huge brands that we saw in the introduction to the video. I think that is just so cool and I can't wait to show you how to use WordPress and enter into the world of WordPress blogging. So that's all I'll say for now. I'm super excited to get started, I hope you are too. Go ahead and just check this box at the bottom and now we can proceed and install your copy of WordPress. So let's do it together and click check out now. Great job, welcome officially to your HostGator control panel and as you can see, HostGator is already ready to build your website. You'll also get these emails from HostGator, and if you get logged out of HostGator, you can open your account info and click on this link at the top to log back in. You can also use the first name server and second name server to connect your domain name to your hosting. And I'll leave you a video on how to do that in the notes. All right, now we can move on on this very important screen here. To get WordPress installed, we wanna just click on the hosting tab. Now from the hosting tab, we want to bring our mouse down to cPanel and click on cPanel. Alright folks, welcome to your cPanel, aka your control panel here at HostGator. This is where you can take advantage of all the features HostGator offers when you sign up, like the free $100 credit for Google AdWords, for example, or Bing. If someone tells you to access your WordPress files, you can use File Manager. You can also create an email address with email accounts. So yeah, very cool. Obviously too much here for the moment to cover because we just want to install your copy of WordPress and we can accomplish that in the software section. So if you don't see this, it might be closed for some reason. This is where though you install all of your different options. If you want to do Joomla, if you want to do uh, Weebly or something. Doesn't look like Drupal is here, so thank you, next. And to install WordPress, we can click Quick Install. If you don't have Quick Install for some reason, like they changed cPanel, you can also use Build a New WordPress Site or this button too, which will get you to the right place as well. But I just like using Quick Install because we've been using Quick Install for years and years and years. So click Quick Install. Now you could do the cool HostGator website builder, which is drag and drop, or you could do more one-click installs, which has tools like other than WordPress, which you can see hovering in the background here. But of course we wanna go with just WordPress. So click on this tab. Great job, all right. So it will show you the latest version of WordPress right here. Yours will probably be more updated than mine. And you could also call a WordPress expert if you want, but we have each other and we know how to do it. So we're just gonna select our domain for installation right here. Click on the drop down and choose your domain name. So I have a few here, but you might just have one. Just go ahead and select it. Leave the directory box right here completely blank. Don't write anything in here. And then we're gonna click next and we're not gonna fall for this down here. All right, now we just need some install settings. So that's just gonna be your blog title. So this can be really whatever you want. Mine's super generic. And you can change blog title later on. You cannot change admin user later on very easily though, unless you like delete yourself. 
So in my case, I'm just gonna make it something I always use and it's pretty professional. When you write a WordPress blog post in the future, it'll say by this person. So just make it something you like or, you know, first name is also really good. Let's do first name today. So then we have our first name again and last name and then admin email where you're gonna get your blog details like your WordPress login emailed to. All right, that's it for install settings. Let's just check this box below. And now it's time to do all the hard Cody stuff. You're gonna to have to know Ajax, JavaScript, PHP, Python, syntax, CSS, and all that in the next step. Just kidding, HostGator is gonna do all that for us when we click install, and that means we don't need to be a tech guru to install WordPress. So now I'll show you how HostGator has made it super easy to get the job done. Let's just click install together. All right, pretty good. Only took a few seconds to install WordPress. If you get the green check mark, it means you did everything perfectly here. If you got like a red X or something, then it might mean there's something in your WordPress installation like that you don't want in there. Maybe from a previous project that you or like your evil twin did. If that's the case and you don't get the green check mark, I have a video on how to fix that. I'll leave it for you in the notes below. Hopefully everyone's on the same page here though. And now what we can do is just leave this screen open here. You actually don't want to click login because it'll take you away from the screen. Okay guys, so now is actually a good time to take a 15 to 30 minute break because WordPress takes a little bit of time to get all your files settled in place. So I'm gonna go for a quick jog and maybe grab a snack and then I'll catch you in about 30 minutes. So what we wanna do next is open up a new tab and then we're gonna learn how to log in to your new WordPress site. So just type out your site dot com dot net whatever and then hit enter and what you should see is the website coming soon page this is just a default coming soon page that HostGator made for us but if you don't see the screen and instead you see an error page like can't find your web page as long as you follow the steps in the tutorial you'll be just fine what you might need to do is connect your domain name to your hosting if you got your domain name somewhere other than HostGator, like at GoDaddy. So again, I do have a video on how to do that in the notes below. But if you got your domain name at HostGator and your hosting at HostGator and you still don't see this page, you probably didn't do anything wrong. It just means it's time to take like a 15 to 30 minute break, go get a snack, go for a run because your WordPress files are settling into place. In our case, the site is working right now. So we're going to proceed and log into WordPress. So to log into WordPress, just come up to the after the dot com or whatever yours is, write a slash and then write WP dash ADMIN and hit enter. That's how everyone does it. All right. And now we're going to pop in our WordPress login credentials, which are on this screen. If you did close the screen for some reason that happens, they will also be emailed to you. So we need a password, username we can remember, and let's log in. I'm also gonna hit remember me and I'm gonna bookmark this link to save time in the future. And log in. Beautiful, so welcome to WordPress. This is your new dashboard and the first thing I like doing is just kind of playing whack-a-mole and just getting rid of the notifications. So X out, X out, X out, all this stuff. And then I also like getting rid of the coming soon page which was that sort of neon green and black page we just saw. And to do that, we can click here. And that makes sure that when you ask your friend to check out your site and they're in like a different town, that they'll actually see the site you're working on and they won't see some default coming soon page blocking everything. All right, very cool. So this is your new WordPress dashboard. Super fun. You can drag and drop the different tabs, although I don't really use these little quick areas that much. Um, I just use the tabs on the top and on the left, which we'll cover in detail as we go throughout the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you probably wanna do is see what your site looks like. What does it look like? To check out our site, we can just click on your site title in the upper left, which is also a button. And that basically flips the site to the front end. So this is what the whole world sees. This is like the default WordPress 2019 theme. So it's made by the WordPress team. Thanks a lot, guys. And then if you wanna get back to your dashboard, just click on the site title again and it flips back. So that button was confusing to me at first, I don't know, um, but now I hope you understand it. That's just like how it works. Goes to the front end with the world sees and to the back end. And of course the world, when they look at your blog or website, won't see this black bar at the top because you only see this when you are logged in. 
All right, super cool. Let's go back to the dashboard and let's learn how to change the look of your site because this version of the site is super common. Like almost everyone who uses this tutorial is gonna start out with this exact site. It's a lot of white space. Doesn't look like much other than a default blog. Doesn't even really look like a blog and like hundreds of thousands of other websites that just pop up also use it. So while it's good, we want your website to look great. Let's learn how to change the theme. So click back to the dashboard and you could also just click dashboard right here, same thing. And now we're just gonna hover on appearance and you'll get the option for themes and click themes. All right, so these are the themes, AKA the templates, AKA the outfits that your website can wear. We are wearing the 2019 theme, it's active. You could also try out the 2017 theme or you could just open them up and click delete if you wanna save space. All right, but in our case, we just wanna click this blue plus to add a new theme. And now you'll see all the free and amazing WordPress themes that you get. So this is one of the most amazing benefits of joining wordpress.org. You really get the keys to the castle here. You can see what's popular with people these days, what people are having success with, making really cool, profitable websites and blogs. So we have a tutorial on a lot of these. If you uh, want to go with a different theme than we use today, just ask. I can hopefully send you a useful link. But in our case, we already have a theme picked out. It's pretty much the hottest theme of 2019. So we're just going to do a search for Astra. And once you find Astra, just hover on it and click install. And I'll show you why this theme is so popular in just a second. Just need to activate it. And then once you do so, our whole website's going to look different from this end in the dashboard and also on the home page. It's going to look a lot more organized and cool. Okay, so now we can actually start using Astra. Let's go back to your dashboard and let's go ahead and come down to where it says, thank you for blah, blah, blah. Did you know Astra comes with dozens of ready to use starter site templates? And that's why we like using Astra because it comes with these pre-made drag and drop awesome professional website looks that will make people who visit your website, like your boss or your friends or whatever, be like, you made that? And you'll be like, why, yes I did. So to use these starter site templates, just click get started. And now we can actually talk in detail about how Astra works. So the first thing you need to do is choose a page builder. Page builders are drag and drop tools that let you move stuff around with ease. That's what you want instead of like the old fashioned way of building WordPress pages where you just look at a bunch of blank input boxes. That's also a good way, but this is way more fun. So the page builder we want to use today is Elementor. Just make sure you select that and click next. All right, and now we get all of their Astra starter sites, which are basically like themes within a theme. As you can see, a lot of them are free and a lot of them are agency. So the agency tab means you have to go and pay a little bit for them. But if there's no agency tab, you can just grab it today. And if you want an agency one, just let me know. I should be able to have a coupon for you on that. Okay, so tons of themes to use. And I gotta be honest guys, it's really important that you get your theme and your website looking good before you launch. So now is the time to really play around and you know ask a couple friends you know which three themes they like best or something and then get it squared away because when you launch your website to the world you don't want to change your theme. Um, imagine if like your favorite TV show changed their introduction or changed the time of day that they were on like every day. It just wouldn't be helpful and and bloggers get stuck thinking that the grass is greener on the other side, constantly changing their look. That really can crush a new blog success because people just want to see a good look, which you keep and then read your content. So put in the work now to pick a good look. And fortunately, I've already picked one up for you, which I know you'll absolutely dominate with. And it's a little bit hard to find it on this screen here. So I'm going to hit command or control F and type in fashion. And there she is. All right, so where you're gonna grab fashion lifestyle blog. Everyone's got a sense of fashion and everyone wants to lead a good lifestyle. So I really think it's gonna be a catch all theme that works for so many different audiences. So once you select it, you can see that there we are. We have finally found our look and now you know how to. Just a little reward for putting in that commitment and getting the domain name and hosting up front. So congrats on making it here. Next, we just wanna click import site. And we can see I left these four boxes checked. 
All right, guys and gals, so I just clicked that blue view site button and now we're ready. Your theme is installed and your site should look like this if you followed all the directions so far. Of course, you might have picked a different starter site template. That's totally fine. But more importantly, it's time now for our mystery question, which is what kind of blog or website would you make if you could make any blog and you can think outside the box or pick a blog that already exists or just something we've never heard of or something like really practical, it's up to you and why would you do it? So let us know in the comments and of course make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and you'll be all set and entered in our giveaway. We're gonna award three people with an Amazon gift card. So that should be done by the end of the month depending on how many signups we get. And as per usual, I'll leave you all the necessary information on the giveaway in the notes below the video and how to get in on another giveaway we're running. Last giveaway was super fun. We awarded people real money on Amazon and so I hope you can get involved too. So that said, now that you have your domain name and hosting and now that you're entered into the giveaway, let's go ahead and learn how to restyle this whole website, starting with this big hero image at the top, just like a web designer would. Okay, so first you need to make sure you're logged in like we are here and just click edit with Elementor. Elementor is our drag and drop page builder, so all of our web pages on the blog will be built with Elementor. So how Elementor works is you have this column on the left with your different elements that you can drag in if you want, and you just need to kind of drag and put them in the right position and then let go, and you'll get an image or whatever you bring in. But to get back to your elements, if you lose the elements on the left, you can just click on these nine boxes, and it'll show you the list again. But because our starter site template already has elements, we really just need to click on top of them and change them up. To change our background image, for example, we can click on these six dots here, which means edit section. All right, and you can also right click on that for more options, got it. Now we just need to click on style and we'll see this background image living right here. So we're gonna say bye to Kara, but nice knowing her. So we're just gonna click on that image to change it. Now what I recommend doing is putting your images that you get from Facebook or Google or your phone or whatever into a separate folder on your desktop. That way you can keep them all organized and we can just go ahead and add them in from the folder. So we see I have about, you know, 10 or 15 images right here that are gonna go up and make our blog come to life. So to get those images from the folder on your computer into WordPress, you just wanna be in Upload Files here and click Select Files. All right, and then we're gonna click on the desktop here and we're gonna have our blog folder. You can see we've done a lot of building before with other folders. Next, you'll just select the photo you wanna use. I'm gonna go with view and click open. WordPress will upload that photo from your desktop to your WordPress. Perfect. The attachment details on the right just allow you to put in some alt text which could describe the image, like view from Coco head. Then you have a title which will show up if someone hovers on the image, a caption if you want, we don't want that, description, and then a link to the image. So go ahead and play with these settings if you'd like. And now let's click insert media and see how it works. All right, so there we go. It fit our image in nicely. If your image doesn't fit, that might be because you need to change the position. So we can see we can orient the image to different parts of the image. All right, but this looks pretty good. Or you might need to change the size from cover to contain or something like that, although that would repeat the image. Cover is often best. Next, we can change where the text goes because while the image looks good, we really want the text to be in the open area on the right where there's the nice view and that way the people in the image are looking at the text. And that's just one web designer trick that gets people to read your message. When you put people in a photo and they're looking one way or just one person is looking one way and then they're looking at the headline you want people to read. So we can just change our text orientation by clicking on top of one of these headings and then just pop the alignment over to the right. Let's do the same with our own style with carrot. All right. And we can see the text is only going right up to a certain point in the page. So that would be because this column, which contains our text. So this page is broken into columns, which are inside sections, these big blue things. You'll get the hang of it with a little bit of practice. This column though, just has a little bit of spacing on the right, which is moving it over. So if we click on this little button that looks like a white book with a black background, we can edit that. Just make sure you go from layout to advanced and then get rid of the padding on the right. Make it zero and perfect. For those buttons on the bottom, you actually just wanna click and drag them. So you can move a button just by clicking on the dotted line as I just did and dragging it. 
So now that we know how to move our watch video link on the right, which we're going to change into a real video button, we just need to move our read more button as well. So just click on top of the read more button and alignment to the right and perfect. Okay, now we're going to change up the first heading, which says let's create your to welcome to my dot dot dot. And you can just write that in in the title column on the left, or you can write it in right on top of the screen just by clicking and deleting and writing. Now we can update and let's see what we made. So to see what you made, just click on this hamburger icon in the upper left and then click view page. Great job guys. So next we wanna actually make the read more button go to our blog and then we want the watch video button to go to a video. So to set up your buttons like that, just go back to edit with Elementor. And now what I'm gonna do is actually open the site in a new tab so we can look at it live and in edit mode. So that's something that I recommend doing a lot of the time, really helps. And now I'm just gonna right click on this link for blog, which WordPress gave us. So copy link address and come back to Elementor and then click on the button itself for read more. And then right where it says this little hashtag sign, just get rid of that and write in your link or just paste it in. Perfect, so that will go to the blog. And I'm also gonna remove this index.php. We don't want that in there. All right, so there's your link. Super simple, yourdomainname.com forward slash blog is how it should look. And I'm gonna keep all the other settings the same because I think they look good and update. So if we go back to our homepage and we click on another link like contact or blog, we can see that actually all the links right now have that index.php in there. That's actually really bad for Google SEO. And it's obviously confusing for someone to remember if they type this in manually to get to your page or to get to your blog post. So let's remove that. To remove the index.php, we're gonna to click to the dashboard and we are gonna reset your permalinks. The word permalink, by the way, just refers to the link structure of your blog. It's how your links look. So we're gonna hover on settings and click permalinks to change that up. Now all you gotta do is just choose post name and you're gonna get the most simple, most Google friendly version, which will just have keywords after the slash, that's all you want, and scroll down and save changes. All done. Let's go back to the home page. And now that button for read more will take us to our blog. All right, not bad at all, guys. So now that that link's working, let's get the watch video link go into a video. And now is a perfect time to show you what plugins can do in WordPress because we want to make it so when someone clicks on watch video, a video actually pops up in front on top of the screen and someone can just watch it right there. So let's go back to dashboard and let's take a look at the plugins you have and I'll show you how to delete them and what that really even means. So click on plugins. All right, and then you're gonna see a bunch of nonsense here like from Jetpack and Akismet. We're gonna get rid of that. Just scroll down to where you see this list right here of all the plugin titles and then the buttons where it says settings or deactivate. Now, perhaps most importantly, a good rule of thumb in WordPress is if you're not using a plugin you should delete it because it's gonna take up space on your site and it's gonna make it run slower. So I'm gonna show you what each of these plugins does and we're gonna delete most of them. All right, so let's start at the top. And there's no negative effect of deleting a plugin as long as we're not using it. Most plugins in WordPress like these ones here are free and you can just re-add them for free right through the add new button at the top if you want them back later on. So no harm deleting them. So let's take a look. All right, the first plugin, Akismet, is an anti-spam protector. It's created by Automatic, the company who made WordPress, so we're gonna keep it because it's obviously, because we obviously don't want spam. Next up, we have Astra Starter Sites, which we installed on our own. We're obviously gonna keep that. Astra Widgets, we're gonna keep that because we're using the Astra theme. Elementor, we're gonna keep that because it's our page builder, but now we run into a plugin we, get, we can actually deactivate, which is Google Analytics by Monster Insights. I personally like setting up Google Analytics manually on your site, so we're gonna deactivate this one. All right, give them a reason, submit and deactivate. This is sort of just like a shortcut that might help you with analytics, but really you should set it up manually and that way you'll know how it actually works, how analytics actually works. So once you deactivate a plugin, you'll have the option to delete it. Just click the delete button and then click okay and it will be zapped. Same goes for Hello Dolly, delete, Okay, and we're saving space. All right, Jetpack is a tool that lets you connect to WordPress.com. We don't have any features on a WordPress.com blog we wanna use, so we're gonna deactivate that too. 
all right and delete it just hit enter mojo marketplace is a place to get more themes but we already have a theme so deactivate delete you get the picture opt-in monster is a tool i use to collect email subscriptions on dear blogger it's a pop-up feature works really great but we don't have an email newsletter yet so delete ultimate add-ons for gutenberg we're going to keep because our blog posts are made with gutenberg and then wp forms light we're gonna zap all right cool I do like WP Forms Lite for setting up an email newsletter form and connecting it with Constant Contact. And of course, we have a video on that. I'll link you in the notes. For now, I just recommend having about five different plugins. If you have more or if you have a question about a specific one, just let me know in the comments and I'll help you vet that plugin. Okay, we can click to our homepage and see that nothing broke. Everything is still A-OK. -okay. We just need a plugin that helps us open this video when someone clicks on it. So let's see how to do that. And I know a plugin off the top of my head that helps us do this. It's just called Wonder Plugin Lightbox. You can pop it into Google. Next, click on this link for responsive WordPress Lightbox Gallery plugin. And we're gonna download a plugin the old fashioned way, which is just downloading it from the plugin website itself. We're gonna click this green download button, save it to your computer. This plugin is of course safe, otherwise we wouldn't download it. And I say this is the old fashioned way of doing it because of course you can be in WordPress on your dashboard and you can get plugins right from within your WordPress dashboard library by going to plugins, add new. And you see all these cool plugins that WordPress comes with that WordPress offers you, or you can search for one over here, like social media, and you'll get all the plugins that match those keywords. There are so many cool plugins to choose from, but in our case, old fashioned way is just to click upload choose file and then we're going to grab the wonder plugin lightbox free I downloaded it twice so we'll get the one without the one and click open all right guys so once your plugin is up and atom right here click install now make sure you're installing the dot zip file otherwise it won't work and then click activate if it worked successfully which it did all right so the plugin is going to live in the background it's going to make our WordPress website more powerful just by installing it. And now what we need to do is go to Elementor, and you need to click on the watch video link, and you need to find a YouTube link to put in right here. So I kind of already did one, but we can grab another video from YouTube. So really whatever showcases your blog, or maybe you made a travel video or something like that. That's super cool. In my case, I'm just gonna go with Roger Federer's 100 wins because what could be better than that? All right, just grab the YouTube link right here and copy it without anything after the video ID right here. Come back to Elementor, paste it in. All right, and now click on Advanced and write in the CSS class of WP Lightbox, just like that, one word, WP Lightbox, and update it. So now when we check out our homepage, we can actually click on that button, should work. Click on it, and there you have it, Roger Federer's 100 Wimbledon wins. And it's going to take all of my restraint pretty much to not watch through all these wins. Because you got to love the goat. But now you know how to put a video in a WordPress light box on a button. Okay, so our hero image is perfect right now. We now can move on down to the next section, which is our offset image. So let's take a look at how to edit this image. Well, we can just actually go back to Elementor and scroll down. And there it is. So what we're looking at is basically a headline here, or a heading, and then another heading. And of course you can change the text by clicking on it, just point and click, and then highlight and remove. I love to help people travel because it's a travel blog, and because we're a travel blog, because we're travel bloggers now, and all right, and then we're gonna change the upper heading to great Travel in all caps, advice for everyone. Spell it wrong, perfect. Okay, so what we have here is a column and another column, and this is just empty space. A lot of the time in Elementor, they will do that with empty space just because it helps make the website look cool and modern. Okay, so now we can go down to our image here. We're gonna click on top of the image. It'll take us right to where the image lives, and even though it's a cool picture of Kara, we're gonna click it and change it. Click Upload Files, Select Files, 
and we're gonna open up our blog images again on the desktop. So there they are. And I'm just gonna grab one of us. So the pirate one should be good. There she is, stealing a drink and captaining a boat. Or well, I'm about to do that. A boat to do that. And sometimes images take a little while in WordPress if they're bigger. This one is like humongous. And as you get more and more into WordPress, you are gonna to wanna to resize your images down so your site is faster. But at the moment, that's too much for us to worry about. Just a heads up. And insert media. All right, so now we have our own offset image that looks super cute. And we can just change up this other text as well. So it matches our brand. All right, we're gonna change up the lorem ipsum because no real site has lorem ipsum on it. All right, and this read more button is just gonna go to our blog, of course, because we're a really simple website. All we are is basically just a homepage and a blog and a contact, and a contact page. So click the read more button to change the link and paste the link to your blog over the hashtag sign and update. Perfect, so that brings me to my next point, which is like, what is this website? Is it a blog, is it a website? Well, it is actually both. Because you get this huge homepage with a splash image and these featured images, all these different options, you can actually showcase your whole brand as a website or as a service, maybe you're a tour guide, maybe you're just a hub for getting advice on something on the web. And then people have the luxury of clicking to the blog from that page. So it's sort of like a cover slide or a cover image on your essay. It's just a way of showing people that you're more than a blog, but ultimately you're actually a whole experience, but ultimately what people want from you is your blog. And that's where you're gonna really hit them with the good stuff. Okay, so your website and a blog. And next up, we have to edit the services for all age women section. So it's really easy to edit these images. You can just point on one you want to change, like maybe this one in the middle. And then you'll get to the image box that Astra set up for you and click it. Upload files. Obviously, we have like all these model photos. So you want to keep them. If you think that looks good on your site, I don't blame you. But in our case, I'm just going to put up a picture of something else all right so we have a little bit of yoga going on and intermedia and there you have it so obviously you might want a vertical image but now that you know how to change images and text i'm going to leave that up to you guys so leroy is going to just hang out here with the models to change up the text beneath the images just point and click and interestingly enough the 01 02 and 03 are images a lot of the time blogs will do that you'll think it's like something they wrote in a cool font but it's just an image because it's easier that way so here's where you could write like the three steps that someone should follow on your blog and that could be for us like pick your dream destination find our best guides and then send in a travel review and we'll feature you that sort of thing. When I started my first blog, it was a college advice blog, and I really wanted people to send in their own advice. It took about a year to get going, and now I have like more advice than I could even sift through. I feel really bad for not responding to people, but if that's your goal to create a blog where people submit their own content to you, then I can more than help you do that. And this is just one way to show people that you want them to do that. Okay, going down, you now know how to change a heading. You can do that. Boom, boom, boom. This is just an image here. It's just a testimonial, so it looks cute as a circle. These are also just images. So you can see Crate and Barrel, Zara, L. You know how to change all of those. You just click on it and then upload a new image you might want. But you probably wanna know how to change this drop down area right here. That's really tough. Just kidding, it's actually really easy. You can just click on top of it and you're gonna get a heading Beneath that, you're gonna get a toggle, and another toggle, and another toggle. So of course, it'd be like pretty hard to create these from scratch, but if you want, you can actually use these sections on different pages. To use any particular section on a different page, you just right-click on the entire section, and then click Save as Template, and then we can save this as like toggle dropdowns and save it, and that way, when you're on another page, you can open up a template, insert it and you're good to go. Okay, so basically we can just open up one of these toggles like style by clicking it on the left and then you can change up the text to say like, this is where I have advice on flights. 
or something. And instead of style, you could just change that to airlines. So you really just have to get used to clicking on the left or clicking on top of things and changing them to your heart's content. Um, with Elementary, this is probably the easiest editing format to look at in WordPress, and that's why we chose it, and that's why so many people love it. So I'm confident that you can get the hang of it 100%. All right, guys, so next we have these images on the right. These are just also images with headings beneath them. They're not any sort of fancy blog widget. It's just something that Astra created from scratch for us. So it's actually really easy just to click on top of one and change the image to one of our own. Just select files and then we can grab something cool like Krista modeling her iced coffee here. And yeah, I am kind of putting these photos up as a joke because like we're not models, you know, we don't model for coffee brands or for Patagonia or something. But I just want to show you how easy it is to create your own blog where you actually are the model. All right, so that's how you change up one of those images. And at the bottom, you can see that it's just more of the same. You just have a heading, a heading, a subheading, and a button. And you know how to do all of that already. So why don't we update it and let's see what we made. All right, we are going to refresh our homepage. And super cool, we can see the changes that we made. Great job. Okay, guys, I can't tell you how much good progress you're making. You're actually seeing the changes you're making in WordPress. It's really an honor to be able to teach you all this cool stuff, which took me years and years to learn. And it is such a big honor to create that giveaway where you can get hosting for free. Because when I started out hosting, I had like probably $80 in my wallet. And it was like really tough to spend that money. And now the fact that we can provide that experience for people is, I just am at a loss for words. So hope you've been able to watch this far and take part in everything we're offering. And now it's just time to change up the other pages on our site, like blog and then contact. And then we're going to wrap up our header and footer and we will be good to go. Okay, cool. So how do we change up the content that's on our blog? How do we make these posts look different? Well, let's click edit page at the top and let's see what's going on. So once you click edit page, you're going to realize that this is not elementary. This is actually, what is this? This is Gutenberg. So Gutenberg is the new drag and drop page editor by WordPress. It's really cool. We actually haven't explored it until now and it might take a little bit of practice. So why don't we jump right in? Well, right away you can change up what's set at the top just by pointing and clicking. That's easy. And then you can point and click at the images, but that's not quite as easy or is it? So let's click on top of an image and click on the three dots and it's asking us if we want to leave the site. So cancel. So let's click on the three dots and we can see that this is a block. All right. So all it's basically doing is showing us a blog post, which seems to be one of the more recent blog posts. So we're going to leave that alone. We're going to come down to column post carousel. If we click on this, it's also going to ask us if we want to leave. All right. So this is basically just showcasing our recent posts and it's not really holding the content right here. But what it's doing, as it says on the upper right, is this block fetches the blog posts you may have on your website and displays them in a carousel layout. Okay, so that's pretty cool. We actually don't need to touch any of this, but what we can do if we want is change up like the text at the bottom. That's obviously something you can change because that's just a heading and all. That's a lot like Elementor. But what you can do is change up the posts where the posts actually live, which is in posts. So let's update this page. And let's go back to posts. And for example, we're going to like trash hello world. So now when we look at the blog page, we're not going to see hello world. All right, very good. So that's just one way to change up this page. If you wanted to change up this post right here, which is being featured, go back to the dashboard, click posts. And we can see that street shopping tips is the most recent post. We're going to open its featured image. We can see it's this lady here in the purple holding the bags. So that's this post. All you need to do is basically like change this post information, click on the image and you can replace it with one of your own images. All right. Like this one on the lake and click select. And then you can just click on top of one of these titles like street shopping and make it like street travel tips and then update it. And then you'll see those changes reflected. 
if you view post, you'll see the post itself, which is this really cool layout. Believe me, like in the olden days, no one could create layouts like this, where it's one column and another, and a really cool font. So you should keep this, I recommend it. Just replace these images and all with your own content. But more importantly, when you click on blog, you can see we've changed the style of that first post. So that's how I recommend going about your changes because this starter site template is so powerful, you can really just change up the content that's in there and keep the overall structure and you'll be on your way to success. All right, so that's the blog page in a nutshell and we can move on to contact. So the contact page centers around this image with the headline, the cool border, and then Oops, WP Forms ID equals six. That means that we had a WP Forms form in there. So it means I get to show you what happens if you delete a plugin and then you want to bring it back to life. So let's see what happens if we go to dashboard, plugins, add new, and we get WP Forms back, WP Forms. There it is, contact form by WP Forms. Just install it and then activate it. And now let's go back to our dashboard and go to our contact page. And because WordPress is so powerful, it remembered the form that we had created by default in Astra. And now you have a really cool working contact form. As you can see, like most of this tutorial, there's not a ton of work that we need to do. You can just make small tweaks and you'll have a really cool blog ready out of the box. Like for example, you could change this text, image, your email, I'll leave you a tutorial below on how to create a custom email address and then editing your phone number and these little buttons is a piece of cake. All right, let's scroll up and let's just get ourselves a new image right here. Let's click on edit with Elementor. All right, and then click on the section settings, style, image. All right, and so if you wanna change this image of Kara, that's really easy just pop in a new image and insert media and there you have it and update all right guys so now you know how to change up the contact page the rest of it is just point and click like everything we've been doing I'm just gonna go ahead and remove these little oh well they came to life so I'm not gonna remove these boxes because now they show their actual social icons just gonna update the page hit the hamburger and view the page and we are in business great work guys so last but not least, I want to show you how to make a logo up here and then how to change the navigation menu, the social icons, and lastly, the footer. All right, guys, so to make a new logo, even though Fashion by Care is pretty cool, you can just visit Logo Maker, that's L-O-G-O-M-A-K-R without the E, dot com, and you will see the free logo tool that we love using in so many videos. So the first step is to find logos and graphics. Just click in the upper left and you can search for something like palm tree or whatever you want. I just for some reason always like palm tree, so it makes it super easy. So then when you find one you like, just click on it to drag it in there and you can click on it to drag it and move it. You can click on the T to get some text and if your blog is easy to type out, go for it. But in our case, self-hosted WordPress blog is way too much, so I'm just gonna go with SHWB super fresh and modern and drag it and you can see when you're dragging your logo it will actually tell you like what's connected to what with these little grid lines so you know how big to make everything so that makes it super easy we just want to pick a color now that's appropriate for our blog so black could be good but i really do actually like this kind of light pinkish red to figure out what color that is we can just right click on it and hit inspect element and it'll show us the background color on the lower right. So just click on that once, right click copy. As you can see, right click is our friend. And now go back to the logo maker and click on your text. Okay, so we're on the text. And now click over here, double click on the six digit color hex, and then just paste in the red and hit enter. And there you have it. Super easy, super fresh, super cool. Self hosted WordPress blog. We could even put in like a hashtag here. Nailed it, we just have to move that over a little bit. And you could also change the color of the palm tree if you want to anything else. 
As you can see, every color is available at your disposal. So why not pick like a fresh modern green? All right, so there we have it. Once your logo is ready, you can just crop it in the lower right. All right, and then if it doesn't get it quite right, you could drag in the corners, crop again. Let's drag in that size a little bit so we don't have white space around our logo. And of course, if you wanted to change the font on your logo text, you can just click on the text itself and change it from railway to something else. All right, but I really like railway. So let's crop it up and then let's save it. All right, once we're all cropped up, I'm gonna hit enter and then hit the floppy disk icon in the upper right to save it. Click no thanks, download low resolution so we don't have to pay anything. Although you do have to give credit to Logo Maker somewhere on your site. And then we'll just save it as logo version one and save it. Okay, now we're gonna go back to WordPress and put up our logo. We can do that by going to customize for the first time. So customize is where like anything that's not in Elementor should be living and where you can edit things that are outside the realm of Elementor. For example, your header and your footer. So once we're here, we just wanna click on layout and then click header and then click site identity and remove the logo, select the logo, upload, select. And there you have it. You can just upload your logo just got to find it on your computer, double click it, and then select it. We're going to skip cropping, and now we should have a brand new logo. Awesome. You can increase the size by increasing the logo width. All right, no need to take up too much space, though. Perfect. And now let's just publish it. Nailed it. All right, if we go back, we can actually see that in this section, we can change the menu to you just got to go all the way back to this list of options, click menus, click primary menu, and here you can actually drag the order of how things are, or you can like open them up and delete them if you don't want the blog to show. Okay, and if you add new pages, then they'll show up. And if you add new pages, then you can click add items and you will get more options for different sorts of pages or categories you have to put in your menu. All right, so that's how to do the menus. Let's now look at the social links. And if we can't find the social links, you can actually just click on top of the screen to edit them right there. And it'll take you to the header social profiles. So we can see here that we have three social profiles. The first one is a Pinterest icon. The second one is a Instagram icon. And the third one is a YouTube icon. So. What we're going to do is actually populate the Instagram and the YouTube and then get rid of the Pinterest. So let's open the Pinterest box and let's change the icon to, we can search for Facebook, grab a Facebook icon. And now all you need to do is add in the link. So HTTPS www.facebook.com. It's obviously free to make slash to your blogger. It's obviously free to make your own Facebook page and a really good marketing tool because everyone's already on Facebook. It's a lot easier to get at them. It's a lot easier to get your message across to them there than having, than bringing them back to your blog sometimes. Oh, but I put the link in the wrong place. That got confusing. So I'm just gonna um, cut this link out and put it in up top. Paste. Beautiful. All right, so our first social profile is done. We'll close it. Now we're going to change up the Instagram one. This needs a link to HTTPS www.instagram.com slash Naragai. All right, close up that one. And then we need the YouTube one at the end, which is just going to be HTTPS www.youtube.com forward slash Naragai again and publish. All right, and that's how to change up your header. So we can go back, back, 
And I do apologize for going through these sections kind of quickly. I just know that in the past, a lot of people have said that they'd rather explore them on their own with just a little bit of guidance. So people don't want me to actually go through telling them exactly what to say and write, but would rather just, you know, go through a quick overview. So that's what we decided to do today, but I can elaborate on everything in the comments below the video, always available to help. So last but not least, we just need to change our footer. And of course there's a pencil for that. Just click on it and then you can change this to say something like copyright, you know, your site title. You can put a link in here if you want and the current year site title short codes will just pull in the current year and the current site title. All right. So with that done, we can click on the other pencil icon, which is just a menu. Thankfully that looks good, so we don't need to change that and we can publish it. And now we can X out and let's see our brand new blog. All right guys, so we got our logo activated, we got our menu working, we got our social icons inserted, so super cool. Hero image, offset image, featured images, happy clients, drop downs, and a consultation section. So maybe you can get some clients right through the blog. Super excited to make this website for you guys. Thanks so much for watching because I really enjoyed making this for you. I'm sad to go now, but I did want to keep this video short and sweet so that you can take your new blog and run with it and go ahead and make the blogosphere a better place. Like I said before, we'll be drawing the winners to our giveaway by the end of July. Depending on how many people enter, we might go like July 29th or 30th or what have you, but I will update you on all that. Just make sure to subscribe and I'll post a video about the updates and you will hear about it. And hopefully you'll win because three real people are gonna get free hosting for a year and that's basically just cash in your pocket and you can do whatever you want with it or consider it blog earnings. And I really hope it helps you. All right guys, so enjoy your new blogs. Let me know any questions in the comments. I'm Greg Narayan and uh, happy blogging and good luck starting blogging in 2019. I'll talk to you soon.